the order is wrong, so we're going to say the yes. wrong one. And so we're going to look like fools yes. on the internet. Take a look at my photos. Some of these are real, others never happened. AI and photography is nothing new. Our phones and cameras have used AI to improve photos for years. Uh, think red eye removal or portrait mode that gives your phone photos an artistic blurry background as if they've been taken with a dedicated camera and expensive lens. And now there's generative AI, which powers tools and services like Dolly, Midjourney, Firefly, and Lenza AI, and can create photos from scratch with nothing more than a prompt. Just as photography changed drawings and paintings, AI will forever change our photos. But that leads to the question, how do you know what's real and what isn't? And does that even matter anymore? To find the answer, I assembled two professional photographers, CNET's James Martin and Lexi Savides. I showed them a series of images, some made completely from AI, others where AI was used to manipulate an image, and photos where neither were the case. Let's see their reactions. We're gonna give you a laptop. Yeah. I just have to figure out, is this photo AI or not? Just that simple, and then we're gonna talk Ooh. about everything, okay? Do we win a prize? Yes, you do. You get to go home. Looks pretty real to me. It does. I think what gives away that it's taken on a phone with kind of like portrait mode is like that kind of weird kind of sharp cutout mm. around like the bodies at the back is kind of like artificially blurring and then sharpening and then kind of like blurring yeah, it yeah. again. Like the edges are kind yeah. of sharp, sharpened to mm -hmm. the point. Yeah. But I definitely think that's a real image. And then I don't, I do too. Like the textures of the of the plate here, it would be more smooth than less texture were it a AI image. Yeah. And then also just kind of like some of the imperfections in the, the plate. The toast doesn't look like it's nice. I'd eat that, but it looks like something I'd eat as opposed to like a picture perfect yes. thing that I choose off a menu, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, that's why I say it's real. It's not perfect. This is a real photo. I am 99% sure that this is not like a portrait mode shot. Oh, more avocado toast. This one looks like AI. I don't know if it's AI. I wouldn't say it looks like AI. I, I think it could, it could go either way. I see what you're saying. But I think it looks real enough, again, taken on a smartphone. Because that like blurring effect does look like it's kind of like a food mode or a portrait mode just yeah, on the toast. it does. There's something about the texture in the bread. I don't know. You think that, that looks, looks fake? very. Um, I mean, I'd eat that. Very Wouldn't... thought through by a computer. Yeah, but I'd something. eat that. Like that's. I think that's <clears throat> real. Okay, I'm going real. You're going fake. The second avocado toast is AI generated, 100. percent No, I thought that was the real one. It's like almost too nice. Looking. And now you mentioned it, the lime does look kind of weird. The lime I does look a little weird too. probably should have noticed that in the first place. Something about this one that just says AI to me. There's something weird happening with the dog's yeah. nose. You know, it's kind of like it's not yeah. a complete, so actually that makes me think it's AI. Yeah, I think there's something for me about, it, it, like everything is so direct, like yeah. everybody's too perfectly straight to the camera, right. including the dog. I mean, I have a dog. It's really hard to get yeah. my dog to look straight on in the camera unless I have a treat perfectly positioned behind the phone. Yeah. Um, and the tongue, there's something weird about the tongue Oh too. here, look at his watch. <laughs> There's something strange going on in this watch. Oh, that, that looks like a this is, slug on This is an AI it's photo. Weird. Look, this is a dead giveaway. What phone is this? It's a slab. It's There's very no, generic. Like, I mean, as somebody who, you know, covers tech all the time, yes. I can tell that is not a phone I've ever seen in my life, except if it's off like a display cabinet, a fake one in a Verizon store or something. It's yeah, fake, is AI. It's pretty fake. Um, what's this right here? <laughs> this thing, thumb, finger That's thing? That's creepy. It's like a claw. They look and, like real headphones. You might actually even know the model. <laughs> uh, they're the new Bose QCs, I think. I'm not sure of the model number. But it's just like really like a lot of depth of field. This looks real field. to me. Yeah, I think so. I'd say looks real. Looks like a real photo. Mm -hmm. This is AI. These headphones with the wooden... Veneer. Right? Yes. Looks a little too text. Again, the texture is almost too. Uh, I don't yeah, know. there's no there's no depth, right? Like no. if you look at this side, like it looks like it's a two D yeah. rendering. Yeah, this 3D. one looks less even like a photo than yeah. those other ones that I thought. It, it kind of looks like Photoshop generative AI. Like you type in yep. wooden headphones, and yep. it would come up with this. Yeah. Oh, bless. Mr. Patrick Holland himself. I mean, this is like if, you know, mm. if Patrick decided to, you know, become you know, Ted Lasso. A, 
or become a Harvard professor. <laughs> I would say this is his headshot yeah. that I would see on his LinkedIn and across the faculty websites and stuff like. Looks very trustworthy. Love it, but 100% AI. Yeah, I don't know what's Patrick, I love you, but I know that you're not going to become a Harvard professor anytime soon oh, with this look. Oh. I think anybody who knows Patrick could tell that that's AI because the fabric doesn't look real and you have much better taste in clothes. I think the biggest surprise for me was I look at things with a really critical eye. So I was honestly expecting everything to have a layer of manipulation to it. I was looking for things that didn't exist as well. Totally. And in that it kind of like backfired, especially on yeah. the avocado ones. Does it matter that photos are AI or not AI? Or is this like, is this whole exercise just a waste of time? It's not a waste of time. I think it's a really important question. I think it's largely dependent on context. So for example, for like a journalistic cap um, application or something like the context of it's in a newspaper, is something that's been altered, is somebody's face being changed. But I would say most people just want the best possible image and we have limited storage, right? So I take 500 of the same shot trying to find the right one. So if I can have one that's just manipulated in a way that's not bending the truth, it's just making sure that everybody's looking the right way to the camera, I'm happy to just to have that. Uh, I read over the weekend about high schoolers taking pornographic images and using an AI-generated tool to put their classmates' heads on the image. So the image is not real, but then this image was shared around the school. The kids who were the subject of those images felt violated, felt bullied, so that's real. But do we need something that not only restricts that, but also penalizes people for doing that? I agree that there should be some way of doing this, but I'm just thinking realistically, like how would this be enforced? If you're using the FDA analogy, like how does that result in years and years of legal action and then finally down the track there's some sort of resolution? Think about how many images are created and post online every single day. Millions, billions, you know, trillions, even more than that. Trying to regulate that is enormous. It doesn't seem to me like there's any way of going back is this just a, another chapter turn from like when we went from like drawing and painting into photography and now we're going from photography into like AI photography or AI images? Probably, yeah. I think you can't really say whether it's right or wrong. Yeah, I guess you can say it's whether it's right or wrong in terms of it being a photograph. But maybe then the definition of photograph has to change. Yeah. Photography has always been complex. Decades ago, photographers used lens selection, shot framing, and film chemistry to make alterations in the darkroom. Now, Photoshop, a uh, smartphone image processing and generative AI make those analog era alterations look primitive. But before you despair that AI fakery has sucked the fawning utility out of photography, take a step back. Yeah, it's true that you need to exercise more skepticism, especially for emotionally charged social media photos of provocative influencers and shocking warfare. But at the same time, the photos you're more likely to care about personally, those from your friends, family, and coworkers, are far more likely to be anchored in reality that might even benefit from some of the AI power tools now available to us. And that's all I've got. If you want to know more about the topic of AI imagery, check out CNET for an in-depth exploration on the topic by my pal and colleague, Stephen Shanklin. But now, I want to hear from you. Do you think the benefit AI images bring outweigh our diminished trust in photos, especially online? Let me know in the comments. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.